live from the Ten and Freeze, and as you might be able to tell from the colors, it is our boy Autumn. Our boy Autumn, full effect. find great art, high, low, what moves us, what everyone here is excited about, but also just what's exciting to us. Yeah, we just happen to be at an art fair. We, we're in town and uh, we already checked out a couple of openings. We're here and I see a couple of sterling rubies in the back and I'm pretty excited. I could live with any art in the whole world. I love these paintings, but especially I'm a ceramics fiend. I love ceramic. They excite me, like the like visceralness of it and how it kind of just feels like raw and messy in your hand. And I think one of the greatest ceramics makers in the world and one of the greatest sculptors in the world is this guy, Sterling Ruby. And honestly, if I could own or live with any art for me that I've seen so far in this brief time of free, it would be this big, crazy ceramics bin right here. It's like, I would like swim in this every day. I would take baths in this. I would just have this sitting in my front lawn just being like, what's up man, let's just, uh, you know, when people come over, I'd be like, hey, wanna sit in my giant basin of hell? Look at this. This is my favorite work of the fair, Alex Dacorte. We had Sadiq Ol Bous. I love this guy, but this work is the most impressive I've seen in the wall fair. And maybe if we can walk to Gagosian, they have a wall booth full of sterling rubies. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But in the whole fair, this is what. For the moment. Yeah. That's that's my this favorite. Is the piece. Yes, this is the piece. Okay, so this is Simon Lee's booth. It's all an American artist named Donna Blanca, who I think is super good. She's, uh, she makes these full worlds that have meaning for also culture and sounds and smells. Art royalty. Art royalty. Mark Limshire. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, that's me. I'm Mark Limsher from Pace. We're working on his following. We're going to get him from around 1500 to hopefully around 1800 by oh uh, the end of this weekend. Oh my God. And then, uh, yeah. Tick. How do you feel like the art world's changing and, and, and how do you think uh, we can get more people involved, uh, more text people involved in art? Art is a little club. Yeah. A hundred years ago, there were some people who had vision. Now what happens is that little club turns into an elite. It turns into tastemakers, and it turns into this attitude of beg me, beg me for a painting, okay? Now your art collection shows you have value. It shows who you are. 